Two of the following videos are true while the right, other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Round three, let's begin. You might have seen from my other videos that a low temperature Stirling engine like- Stirling engines are surprisingly similar to nuclear power plants. Both involve heating, expansion phase, a cooling phase, and a compression phase. And they both operate in a cycle. This is powered by the heat from a hot beverage. However, if instead of hot water, you fill the mug up with ice water, okay. the engine will still work. That's true. I mean, all you need is the temperature difference. The difference is room temperature is going to be your tea hot in this case. After removing the tea from a tea bag, unfold right. it into a tube and place it upright on a table. Then carefully light the top part on fire. Hot air rises, meaning once oh, the tea bag jump. has burned enough <laughs> that it's become light enough, it floats up, up, and away. Such a lovely illustration of buoyancy, or how you float in water, and or why nuclear explosions lead to mushroom clouds. I'll live through the struggle of putting Pez candy into a oh, Pez dispenser, yeah. but I recently learned a trick that could have saved me a lot of time. Place the full, unopened roll of Pez into the dispenser. Quickly slam the dispenser closed, and the wrapper will tear <laughs> off and exit out the bottom, leaving you to enjoy the candy. You've no way. Be nice, but the tolerances are tighter. It's the equivalent of putting a piece of new nuclear fuel into your reactor still in a shipping container. It's just not gonna work. So, see. All three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. If you thought this video was real, you'd be correct. A low temperature Stirling engine only needs a temperature difference yep. to work. As much as I wish this was true, <laughs> this video was fake.